My colleague Sam wanted to show you a really interesting reaction, the so-called belusov jabotinsky reaction, which oscillates. The colour changes on and off. Sadly, she's lost her voice, so she's done the experiment, but you're stuck with me to tell you what's happening. Very fortunately, I have a particularly appropriate tie. It's actually a Russian tie, which is good because it's a Russian reaction, and it has the two key elements of this reaction, manganese here and bromine there. This is a reaction which has quite a complicated mixture of materials. It begins quite easily with a beaker of water and concentrated sulfuric acid. And when you begin stirring it, you get really nice patterns, so-called Schlieren patterns, when you mix two fluids of slightly different refractive index. But it's just the fluids mixing together. Then you start pouring in all sorts of ingredients. There is malonic acid, which is an organic acid, manganese sulfate and potassium bromate. Bromate is a salt of the anion Br for bromine O3 minus. So it's bromine with oxygens around it. Now, what happens in this reaction is the bromate reacts with the malonate catalyzed by the manganese and generates bromine. Bromine is orange. And so the solution goes orange. But when the concentration of bromine gets quite high, suddenly a reaction starts and the bromine reacts fairly quickly with the malonate to make bromomalonate. And so it all disappears and the solution goes colorless again. Then slowly more bromine builds up in the solution and it goes orange. And then because the rate of reaction accelerates as you get more and more bromine, suddenly whoosh, it reacts again. And the reaction so oscillates between orange and colorless. This reaction was first described, I think, in the late 60s or early 70s in a Russian publication. And sadly, nobody in the West believed it when they first heard about it. They thought it was quite impossible for a reaction to oscillate backwards and forwards. But you can see for yourself, it happens. And once people saw it, they got really excited because this looked a bit like living thing, so oscillating backwards and forwards. And suddenly people started suggesting that oscillating reactions might be quite important as a basis of life. And like many things in science, once they had worked through the equations for the rates of reactions, they saw it was quite possible to have colour changes. In fact, if you have a slightly more complicated chemical mix, you can change between two colours instead of being colourless. And it's a really fascinating reaction because you feel it shouldn't happen, but it's not conjuring. It really is there. Of course, when you see something on video, you always think somebody may be cheating, but I was in the lab and I saw it happening, so it's OK. The reaction stops eventually partly because the bromate has all reacted and also because the manganese catalyst starts reacting with the malonate, the organic compound, which sort of binds onto the manganese and stops it acting as a catalyst. So by the end of the reaction, everything is spent. If you have the right relative quantities, it will go for 20 cycles or so which is long enough to keep going till you're bored.